Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making some Jamaican rice and peas. Let's go. So first I'm going to start my Goya red kidney beans. I'm going to add that to my pressure cooker. I'm going to rinse this bean. All nice and clean and I'm going to add some water I added about six cups of water and I'm going to add my garlic followed by some pimento seed I'm going to close my pressure cooker. There we go. <laughs> nice and sealed. I'm going to allow this to pressure for about 40 to 45 minutes. Yep, that's the song we want to hear. Now, when this is finished pressuring, allow it to completely cool before opening. There you have it. Our peas is all cooked. And I'm going to transfer these peas from my pressure cooker to my regular pot. I'm going to bring this to a boil. There we have it. Now I'm adding some Goya coconut milk. This is the key ingredient. You don't have to get Goya. You have Grace and other brands that are really good as well. We don't want an ounce to go to waste. Every last drop we need it. I'm going to add my seasonings, which are going to be garlic, pimento seed, thyme, scallion, and a little bit of ginger. I don't know why I'm stirring so hard. <laughs> I'm going to add some butter. Butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better. <laughs> Listen, I really don't measure my butter, but just add a little bit. I'm going to add some salt, just a little bit. And about a half of teaspoon of sugar, just a little bit. Yep, yeah, just making sure that the flavor is right before I add my rice to this. I'm adding some rice to my pan. You know, just feelings. Oh, that's such a basic thing. <laughs> we all measure. We just feel it all, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to rinse this. Yes, you need to wash your eyes. Like, come on now. There you have it. And I'm adding the rice to the beans. Every last grain we need it. Just a little stir, just to even everything out. You don't want some parts to cook and some parts not to be cooked. 
So this is just a hack that I use to make my rice steam quicker. I mean, and to pick it up, you know, it's just my hack. Just a little stir. And then I'm going to add foil paper over this. It's just my way of doing it. You don't have to do it. You can just leave the cover on the pot and allow it to cook. I just love to steam my rice with foil paper. I love this to steam for an additional five to 10 minutes. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you want me to cook next. See you.